This lesson is on the multiplication of integers. We'll begin by explaining what our model is for multiplying integers. First, we will use an upside down semicircle to represent a frown. And a frown will be used to represent negative one. Next, to represent positive one, we will use a smile. Together, a frown and a smile make zero. In other words, minus one plus one equals zero. Now let's begin with our multiplication of integers. We will start by multiplying a positive integer times another positive integer. For our model, we will take the first positive to mean bring in and the first number to mean number of groups. So positive three means we will bring in three groups of positive four. This would look like this. We would have three columns of four smiles. And if we count how many smiles there are, three columns of four would equal 12. So positive three times positive four would equal positive 12. In our next example, we'll multiply a positive times a negative integer. So we'll multiply positive four times negative five. The first positive four means we will bring in four groups of negative fives. This time, we will have four columns of five negatives or five frowns. If we add up all of the frowns, we would have negative 20. So positive four times negative five would give us negative 20. In our third example, we'll multiply a negative number times a positive number. We'll have negative two times three. To extend our model, negative two means we will take away two groups of positive three. In order to take something away, we must have to have something for it to take. So we will start with a group of zeros. And I'll show you what we mean by this in the next slide. Two times three we know is six. So we'll start this question with six zeros. Now we have something to take away, still starting with a blank slate of zero. We will take away two groups of positive three. One group of positive three, two groups of positive threes, and we are left with six negatives, or negative six. Negative two times three equals negative six. In our final example, we will multiply a negative times a negative. We'll multiply negative four times negative three. This means we'll need to take away four groups of three negatives. Four times three we know is 12, so we'll start this question with 12 zeros. Now we'll take away four groups of negative threes. One, two, three, and four groups of negative threes are all gone, leaving us with positive 12. Negative four times negative three is positive 12. We use models in math to help you have a picture of what's happening. We simply need you to remember that a positive times a positive number will give us a positive answer. And a negative times a negative will also give us a positive answer. A positive times a negative will give us a negative answer and a negative times a positive will also give us a negative answer. However you set up your models or however you remember this, make sure that you do.